Hi everyone, this is me Bilal here from microcontrollerslab.com. This tutorial is about MIPS control instructions and working with the RIS. And we are using PC Spin soft software to simulate uh, MIPS instructions. So there are uh, basically two types of control instructions in MIPS. First is branch instruction and second one is jump instruction. And in branch instructions, uh, branch instructions are basically conditional instructions and in which we uh, use conditions like less than and greater than or, uh, or equal to. And in jump instructions are uh, unconditional instructions and we uh, simply use labels to jump from uh, one location to another location of over assembly language program so uh, let's uh, run uh, let's check the, our first program for example in this program we are calculating the sum of uh, first 10 integers as you know in assembly language of MIPS uh, first we type these global variables after that we just like uh, C programming we type main and here we are using an instruction called add i add i instruction is used when we are uh, when we want to add a constant with a register and uh, and result is placed in an, another register for example here we are adding 10 to a register a special register called zero register which holds value zero and we are storing results in uh, S0 register and similarly next instruction we are adding uh, 0 uh, which is also a constant to a 0 and replacing the result in T0 register. Now this is basically a control instruction and we are using this loop 1 as a label. You can use any number you want. For example here we are using uh, a label named loop 1. So what we are doing here, we we use add instruction. Whatever we have stored in S0 and that was 10, we are adding it in T0 and T0 holds only 0 and we are storing results back in T0. So uh, in first, uh, so T0 now holds a value of 10. Now in next instruction, we, uh, we are adding minus 1 in S0 and storing the result back to S0. So we are using add, add i because minus 1 is a uh, constant number. So now as you can see, when you add with, uh, minus 1 with S0, it will become 9 because it holds uh, 10. Now it will it, it becomes 9. So this is uh, this is basically a branch not equal uh, control instruction of MIPS. This this instruction holds goods uh, when this uh, whenever these values of these two registers are not equal. For example, at this time S0 holds a value of 9 and and these are non equal so it's mean the these both values of these both registers are not equal so it's mean it is true when it is true uh, it will go to the label loop one so it will go back to loop one and sim and again we will add value of uh, s0 with t0 and s0 holds a value of uh, 9 this time and t0 holds 10 which was in the last in the last iteration and it will uh, both will add and result will be added to t0 and similarly again it will be subtracted and now it will s0 value will become 8 and again this condition will check and this loop will continue 10 times until and unless s0 becomes 0 because when s0 holds the value of 0 and it, it, it will become equal to uh, 0 so branch not equal so it, it, it becomes equal and condition will not be true and it will not go to this loop and, and uh, it will come down to no operation instruction and this way we can use control instructions to uh, calculate sum of 10 integers but this is a simple example uh, i have already uh, written the code so let's run the simulation so now let's run the code and check its simulation in pc spin we are using pc spin software to simulate our uh, assembly language pin mips assembly language code uh, code so this is a pc spin software if you are uh, not familiar with pc spin you can uh, watch my uh, initial videos uh, to get to know how to use pc spin so uh, we have already uh, have already explained your code in my blog so this is the code which I have already explained now let's upload this code 
click yes now we want to uh, simulate its single step so that we can check value of each uh, uh, each of the register and we can check 10 iterations so first of all need to click on this simple breakpoints and fight to file here main and because we want to start simulation from main we don't want to start uh, our compiler to start uh, uh, executing instructions from main so click close now click on single step let me find our code single step single step So this is this is here our, our code will start as you can see uh, first line of our code is add i s 0 0 10 so now we'll we'll see first of all here you can see value of s 0 s 0 is 0 and um, after we execute the instruction value of 10 will be loaded to s 0 so again click on f 10 as you can see now value of s0 is 10 again now we will check the value of t0 t0 is already 0 and we are loading 0 so it will remain 0 again click on single step and now we are on the third instruction again click on single step and as you can see now value of t0 is 10 because we have loaded s value of s0 to t0 and we added the result to uh, again t0 now again click on single step now you can see it uh, branch to equal condition will be checked and definitely it will it will not be equal so it will come back again to loop so now click on single step so as you can see when you click on single step it came back to instruction 7 because we have a loop on uh, loop after loop we have instruction number seven so it will uh, it will uh, start uh, it will uh, finish 10 iterations until unless s0 becomes equal to zero so let's uh, if you want to uh, go single step you can click f10 uh, again and again and if you want to simulate all the board by one, once you can click on continue when you continue as you, as you can see your code is finished and all the values of uh, our result has been added to a t0 register so this is how we can use control instructions thanks for